is going on guys? As you can see, Cheka and David and Urkavina are the top three goal scorers so far in the Champions League. But take a look at we got any guys up there, not really no. Um, nobody actually interesting. <coughs> So right now, all of the German teams are winning. With Real, uh, not Real Madrid. Um, so far, with those three, um, Liverpool right now the only uh, Europe, uh, not Europe, uh, English side that are through so far. No crazy upsets through this, except I guess Roma on top of Paris. Um, so let's do this. We're on the road. This is where I wish I had a Antoine Griezmann or something like that um, for the experience, but uh, we're not risking anything today. We're not going to play anybody that's going to, um, you know, not come in and make an immediate impact. So um, don't expect. Don't expect many substitutions, but if there are one, it's not a sub because someone's tired and we need to bring on a different guy. It's going to be a sub that we put on and you're going to have to make an impact. So, it is an unchanged lineup. I actually can't remember if I played Correa or Romero in the first game. I want to say it was Luca Romero. Um, so, we'll see. See how this goes. But uh, it was a 1 1 game. Really, the first half we dominated. Um, but then, towards the end of the game, Salzburg got a goal, and then we were actually lucky to not give up another one um, and leave the game 1 1. So, you know, it was looking like maybe we should have won like 3 0. But then, if you take away our first half and only the second half, we were lucky to get away with the draw, so uh, we did have like five goals of XG though, um, and we only got one goal out of it, so got to do better at putting away those chances today, but let's do it. This is the biggest game so far. Uh, ASMR FC, chance to get it to the final eight, where we could play English uh, teams, or we could play Barcelona again because of uh, how the Right off the middle, Romero showed it. Oh. That was the right play, right play. <clears throat> That's a great stadium here. That's a good header. Oh. Sold out crowd, of course, in Salzburg. No one is out of their seat right now.
He's got Lise on the back. Alise shoots. We've taken the lead. 1 0 and 2 1 on aggregate. We took advantage of, if you remember last game, they were very vulnerable up the middle in that first half. And now we take advantage of it up the middle. And it's our, probably our best player this season, Alise. Um, he's been so good at just finishing goals. That wasn't something that was the case the first year we had him. Uh, but this year he's finished so many of those goals. He's gotten a lot of assists as well. And, uh, yeah, he's been great so far. I don't want to give anybody that best player tag because, you know, you can make a case like, oh, it could be Caicedo. Oh, it could be uh, Mudrick. It could be. Slotan Jr. because he's got the most goals, but I don't know. Elise has been good all year, and he's got a chance for another. Oh. And Elise has whipped in some nice corners uh, that we've been able to score as well. Nice and easy for Messi. Wear the same color you're wearing. Nice and easy again from SA. Something generic. Mudrick. Oh, what a pass. We've got a Lisa on the outside too, but Mudrick's just going to shoot it himself. the second team to come out of this group and of course Barca were the other team to come out of our group so that's kind of a direct matchup in a way that one was also one to one on aggregate so I keep thinking the refs my player um, so it'll be interesting to see how that one goes I don't have a, a particular one I'd like to go through you know, I beat Barcelona already this year. They beat me uh, in the group stage. I guess you could say I've struggled against Italy because I lost to Atalanta last year, but that's just one one sample size. <coughs> so I can't make any assumptions. Like, you know, if, if I lose to Salzburg here, I can't say, oh, I'm not good against German teams. Like, it's it's one game. Here's say That's what I'm talking about. Look at that pass by Elise to Robert. Still good. Ruben Sanchez has been very advanced. He's not been afraid. And he's there on defense as well. Mudrick, Romero. Oh, that was heavy. Heavy hit there. Ruben? Ruben? Ruben! 
Ruben Sanchez. What a pass as well. Ruben's been, Ruben's been, you know, running up the side the entire game. And it's Elise again. Look at that pass. Boom. Perfect. Let's go. We are all but through to the round of eight of the Champions League. We just got to see it through now. Just got to see it through. And now I'm going to make a couple of those subs. Right, let's get Rizzo. He's been good. White House has been solid. Bernilli's been solid. It's been good for Anthony Robinson who hasn't done anything in this game. weak. That's weak. How does that go in? He didn't even hit it hard. Man. Okay, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, can't let that go in. I think we're all right, though. Let's keep up with more pressure. Like this. Like this. Like this. He's tripped up. That works. Oh, no. 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 It's Fernino again. It's a 90-second minute equalizer. Oh, no. And, I mean, that's why this has been a great Champions League fixture. I, I, it's now 3-3. Three, three. And we're going to extra time. All right, now we're going to bring it. I'm going to bring in uh, another impact sub here. And Barcelona is through. So it's Barcelona, Roma, and Dortmund so far. All right, so we're going to put in Correa here. For Romero. And that will be our final sub. They got those two late goals. I mean, as soon as I said, we're about through. And then we end up giving up two goals. But, I mean, they definitely deserve that last one there. I mean, it was a clear line of sight. And these games are just, you know, crazy. Like, they're, they're, uh, they're basically the same game over and over. Like, last, in the first half, we've got two goals. In the second half, we have one. In the second half, first half, they have zero goals. But then in the second half, they have three. So it's like we win the first half, they win the second half. And it's like two different games. So let's see what extra time looks like. But basically both games we drew. So that's all signs. Very entertaining one to watch. I'm sure the guys, Micah Richards, Kate Abdo, Terry Henry, and Jamie Carragher, they're super excited watching this. We got Grenellier, so let's... You're not supposed to get juked by both of them. Okay, good one. 
do have a bit of a weaker back line now with those substitutions. Here's Correa. Here's Correa. He's got low drag. Oh, God! Sabara Correa to Vakayo Modrek. And we're back on top. We are back on top. I know that's not the most relaxing thing in the world, but we have taken a 4 3 nail. Uh, nail 4 3 lead in the Champions League. Perfect. Correa comes on, outruns the right back or the right center half, gets a great assist. Motric finishes it easily. And now it's just about lasting these next 15 minutes. And we could be that fourth team through. We'd have an English, Italian, German, and then Spanish through so far. We'd only be missing Germany, which they still have. Well, no, there would be Germany. We'd be, oh, we'd be missing France. I don't even remember who France have left. Marseille. Yeah, they have Marseille. So, we'll see. It'd be cool if we can get all the five leagues, basically, into the, uh, the, the big five. If they can get into the, the final eight and then even get the Portuguese. Because I feel like in this game, the Portuguese are part of that league. I mean, if you remember, Benfica literally won the Champions League in the first year. So, if we can get six leagues in the eight, that'd be pretty cool. Here's Correa to extend. Gotta get Benfica to win, but I'd rather Liverpool win because you know I want I want England teams to do well, uh, and I, I would like that Marseille beat the Madrid. So uh, we'll see what our tie will be in a little bit. Let's get to this cup game, and then I think uh, we will. Uh, yep, fifty million for Correa. They're gonna give me a. Hey, that's a good sell. Sale because we got them for free. Uh, Quarter finally have a cup as well. Uh, but let's check. Let's check the other leagues too. Out. Uh, Newcastle's up. Nice. And then I don't think we have anybody in the conference league, do we? Oh, United. Okay, that one. Cool. Okay, so who is it going to be? Oh, they haven't played yet. Oh, that is probably next week. That's right. Okay. Let's do it then. We got Preston at home. Uh, we will rotate. 
update the squad a little bit. Actually, I want to look at the contract of Elise real quick. I forgot how good Max Bates was. I forgot I know these people. Assist. Robinson's got, Robinson has 10 assists. Wow. Great. Slot 10, 29 and 18. I'm 24 and 16. Yeah, I said it's, it's great. Uh, 17 and 20 for Modric. Uh, so what's Elise's contract looking like? Yeah, he doesn't like his contract. Maybe that's why he's not developing. I think I could do it without the bonuses. I need to get rid of this, I think. Oh, no, no, no. This, okay, this does have effect. Okay. Let's remove the bonus. So that'll take 120, but like, so I can give you all that money, but I can't give you the signing bonus. Would that make sense? Okay. Awesome. So we got at least say for on a higher wage now. We basically tripled. Oh no, we didn't triple. We doubled, doubled and a half. Um, so his contract should be at. We've got him for five years as well. There we go. Now, will he develop? No, still not yet. Uh, but I, he's, he's happy with this deal. I think that's what he deserves. And we've got him for five more years. So I'm happy about that. That's our first player we've really done that with. So let's just, let's make a lot of changes here. Let's give Konate a game. Police is a bit tired. Let's throw it. Yuko Korea. Uh, Muller's been good coming off, off the bench there. Let's throw Asamoa in. Why not? Let's give Whitehouse a game for Silva. Gomez for Sanchez. Sanchez deserves the day off. Um, and this team is still probably definitely good enough to beat Preston. Also, I saw Mudrick was 88 overall now. That's cool. That is cool. Uh, we've had a pretty easy Carabao Cup the last, or not, uh, FA Cup the last couple games. Uh, Bristol City and now Preston. This would get us through to the semi-final if we were able to win. If not, we finished somewhere between 5th and 8th, uh, which isn't terrible, but, you know, we want to win the FA Cup. We haven't won the FA Cup before, uh, and we're in a good position, too. Uh, and I think for the semis and final, I will use the full team, but this is just another chance to rotate the squad after a big Champions League game they just played in. Can Robinson get that 11th assist? Oh, 
Trick got behind them. They're good. Yuko Korea is also someone that's basically come on and got a goal in every single game that I've called him on for the last few. But now he's starting, so let's see how that goes. Udrick. Oh, there it is. Goal for Korea. Beautiful. Tiki Daka. Man, from Konate to Mudrik. Mudrik passes it over, and it's a goal. 1 0. Easy does it. And Korea is also looking to get some more minutes. He's looking for that contract extension as well. And we'll give out the extensions and such uh, when we have more money next year. <laughs> took the legs out from under me. Osimo was hurt. Honestly, Osimo is probably hurt because he hasn't played a game this year. It's crazy how good Mutrik is though when he's the only like, you know, starter, upfront, creative player. Now he's, I thought he should have had a goal and he already has an assist. And just look at him. Quick, he's agile. I just imagine what it'd be like if we had him at the beginning. But I mean, when I bought him in, he was 77 overall, and now he's 88, so he definitely developed. He, he wasn't always like that. I don't want to take Osimo out, though, because like I said, this has been his only game. He wants to play through it. He doesn't want to get subbed out of his only game this year in 30 minutes. So, I know he wants to play. At least not even hurt anymore. Might be after that one. Oh, that's a double. That's a double yellow. Oh, wait, what is this guy doing? Is that the captain as well? Is that the captain's armband or is that just part of it? Jeez, second yellow. It's over for Preston then. They might have had a chance because I really haven't dominated. But now they've got 10 men. It's effectively done and dusted. Korea has another. Korea is good, man. He is good. He's one of our young prospects we brought through the academy played in maybe 10 games last year, uh, did good enough to keep his spot on the bench, and uh, like I said, he's pretty much scored every single time I brought him in, and now he's starting in this game, and now he's got a hat track. I know before it even went in, first half hat track for Hugo Correa, Hugo Correa, and his brother, Miguel Correa, is on loan for the second year in a row, but we'll have him probably at some point as well, uh, but who knows if the team gets better and better, might not you know, we might not need him. But five goals in three matches in this FA Cup for Korea. That's a Brexit tackle right there. That's another one. Here's Modric. Oh, off the bar. Modric has hit the crossbar twice. Oh, 
Here's Bueller. Here's Bueller. 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 Ford Hill. Bueller. That should have been saved by the keeper, but we'll take it for Bueller. We just came off a 7-0 win on Bristol City, and now we've already won uh, 4-0 on a red card at Preston. That red card killed them, though, because like I said, it was a 1-0 game. I wasn't, you know, super dominating. But now a 10 men against the best team in the Premier League as of right now, and they have no chance. Correa sees Modric down there. He's going to shoot it himself. Southampton next, that should be pretty easy. Then we'll get our uh, our Champions League control, probably. Um, the only team I really don't want it to be is like Real Madrid, probably. Trick makes it five. Five nil. Is that even remotely possible? That that kick with the momentum he had, like he just somehow kicked it thirty yards down, off balance, falling down. No drag, no drag. That's not missing. Six nil. Mudrick's got two. He's got two goals in. I think two assists. Just be one. We have scored 13 goals to zero. We are, we are 13 to zero in the last, you know, 160 minutes of the FA Cup. And we had like 21 shots against Bristol City too, which is crazy. I don't think it's going to be as much this game because we're, we're converting most of the shots. Another one of those kicks. The, the coaches here at the Preston and their defenders of how they're just able to do that. Another one. Oh. <laughs> no. I don't want to do that. Well, no hat trick from Mudrick. Which we finally get back to the Premier 